Hi, Toy Tractor Times fans. I'm at the 2022 Gateway Mid-America Farm Toy Show in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm here with Kurt and Seth Eberhardt from Mediapolis, Iowa. And we have a father and son team uh, who have created a great representation of a classic Alice Chalmers dealership. And we'll kind of just look really quickly here across the front. Kurt worked at this dealership and there's some great memorabilia uh, from the days of Alice Chalmers in the 1970s and into the 80s um, with this dealership. And Kurt, I guess we'll start with you because you had um, built all the tractor models out here. And I also just want to congratulate you guys for taking first place in the adult uh, division. And we've got the uh, trophy down here um, from the show. So um, definitely well-deserved and uh, a great fleet of Alice Chalmers tractors uh, from the the 70s and the 60s and into the 80s. Uh, we saw this out in Dyersville and uh, I noticed one new piece was this Alice Chalmers 4W220. Right, and then I added three more 190s. So I've been busy since last November, got four more done. Very uh, nice, and we got the Beachmaster there, which is really cool. And I'm about a week and a half short, or I would have had a 4W. Uh, 304, 305. Okay. I would have had that one done too, but it'll well, show up somewhere. Well, let's take a look at the 4W220. This was the, the baby Alice four wheel drive um, in the early 1980s, and there were less than 200 of these real ones built. Right. So, I, uh, that one was kind of a challenge to build. I wanted to use John Deere frames again, mm -hmm. but that was hard to make that frame come out good on this tractor. So I just started all over. All the main frame fenders came from a sheet of furnace pipe, galvanized sheet metal. Oh, wow. I formed that whole thing into place and got it to go. I extended the instrument panel. They normally don't, on the toys, they don't, they're not raised like that. So okay. that, that put more real detail to it. Sure, now did you use an Alice Chalmers 8070 hood or body or how did you create that part? The yeah, that's an 8030 hood. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then the uh, I've done a little more on the cab. I extended the front out a little bit so I could put the headlights in there. Normally they're just decals, and that brought a lot more detail out. Oh, it sure does. And uh, they're just a sweet looking tractor. They sure are. And then you've got the 8550 there, which is kind of the was marketed as a super beast, and I've always thought it looks like the Queen Mary Ocean Liner with the dual stacks. Yeah, it does. And then uh, Maroon Belly 7580, which was the first yeah, that's homemade the same one. articulated Alice Chalmers tractor after the Steiger built one. That's the same one last fall, but this one I had the one with the duals last okay. fall, so I like switched them around. I have a pretty good variety I could change around yet. I've done a lot of these. Very nice. So I, I'd recently heard about a farmer using an 8550 with a gel chopper to chop corn. So on the <laughs> wow. singles, that would probably be about the right setup. And then uh, I guess we can take a look at these 190s. So the the yellow one I, I was I guessing was uh, the Beachmaster. Or, right. Yeah. The industrial Beachmaster. So it's very similar to the others. The and then we've got a, a maroon belly, which I don't think I've ever seen a maroon belly 190. Yeah. I was the old Midwest Thrasher's Mount Pleasant last fall, and we seen somebody had done a black belly on her 190. So I got the idea, hey, why don't I do that on a toy one? So sure. I've done the black one, I thought, oh, I better do a maroon too. Looks that good. Made a real nice color scheme that way. So we got the, the black belly and the maroon. They might have taken some notes and offer them as full production. Those are sharp looking. They are. Well, it's a great, great lineup of uh, 7,000 series tractors and the 200s and the 190s. And then uh, even got the Alice Chalmers dealer sign out front. And then uh, I guess uh, Seth will give us a tour, quick tour of the, the building yeah, itself. Pretty much the same as it was last fall, but the, yeah, we'll just go through it. And, uh, I know one thing I noticed today I just thought was cool is the electric box here uh, yep, in the meter. I just like to think of every little detail I can to put on there. So, um, see. see how we got the shop area here and like, just, 
just about everything you see in this shop I made myself. Well, I like how the side panels off the 7060, that, that's not easy because that's just a cast hood, so yeah, I just had to cut it. That was one of my projects. It was, yeah, the, the top is actually completely rebuilt, and then everything, the radiator and everything towards the front and top is all scratch built. You've got the power shift decal on the door. Yep. you got a dyno here. Yep, that's, found out that was the model they actually had at the real dealership, so go back to this. Very nice, and we've got the 190. I got to film one of those for Big Tractor Power at a plow day okay. outside of Dyersville this fall with the narrow front. And we got the, is that a 180 there on the lower? 170. 170, okay. And we got the drill press and sink over here and office complete with uh, notes on the wall and bathroom behind it. Got the all important time clock. That's right. And then uh, brake job on the D15. Looking good. Got the Alice Chalmers Simplicity Lawn and Garden tractors. And then uh, the parts room. Gotta love that wood paneling. That was That's a staple of the 70s. <laughs> and this is my favorite part is the Alice Chalmers pedal tractor. That was a piece I built myself. It started out as a 64 scale tractor and turned it into a pedal tractor. It's perfect. You got all the other toys and parts and it had to oils have toys. and grease and spray paint. Alice Chalmers clock in one of the offices. And Pepsi machine, that great 1970s parts counter along with the Super Beast poster up there. Dad said at the real dealership they had the old fashioned cash register like that, so I had to put that one in just like the one they had. No pin numbers or digital <laughs> scanners or <Not> back then. <laughs> credit cards. Well, Seth, uh, it looks great, and I uh, really appreciate you and your dad sharing this history um, from your hometown Alice Chalmers dealer. This is all the fun. It's letting people enjoy it. So, oh. Well, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing what you build next. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for checking out Toy Tractor Times YouTube, where there are hundreds of videos of farm displays and custom builds. And you can see more of this farm display from the National Farm Toy Show in the fall of 2021 here on Toy Tractor Times YouTube. Thank you for watching.